Hello everyone, my name is Shelly Calhoun-Jones and I'm a Principal Technologist at Cohesity. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the Palo Alto integration with Cohesity. But why is this important? Many companies manage backup and security operations in different parts of the organization. And if you're in security operations dealing with a new incident, you may not have access to the same tools as your backup operations team. So I'll show you how you can review anomalies from Cohesity and the Palo Alto console. But first, let's take a look at the Security Center dashboard. I'll click on Anti-Ransomware and we'll identify a server that we'll research. Okay, I'll click on this server, which appears to have had some suspicious activity. And in this example, we can see regular backup activity until April 18th, and at that point, Cohesity detected anomalous activity and blocked the snapshot. But let's look at Trends, which provides information on all anomalous, clean, and expired snapshots. This example shows more data uh, written to our anomalous snapshot versus the clean snapshot. And so that's something that we'll want to document as ransomware blocks access to files and can also download files and other malware from a command and control server. But keep in mind that we're seeing all activity for this server snapshots. And so at this point, we're gathering preliminary information about the event. To learn more, I can click on the Affected Files tab and drill down to see the files that were added or modified. And if there is a particular file of interest, like this first entry here, I can click on the ellipsis and choose to download the file into a forensic environment for additional analysis. From that environment, the security operations team can further investigate the issue. But that leads to the question, how can we learn more about our data? And so for that, I can click on the File Sensitivity tab. Uh, this information comes from data classification scans that Cohesity performs to quantify the type of data within your backups. So in this example, we can see that we did have several files with credit card and password information. So this is something else that we'll want to document for this event. Also, I could click on the affected files from this view and download them into a forensics environment for additional evidence. Okay, so we have a server with anomalous activity, although the backup operations team can do some insights. The security operations team performing the investigation can view this information from within Palo Alto. Okay, so in this example, I can see the information from Cohesity along with the corresponding protection group alert information. If I'm the security operations person, I can take ownership of this incident, which I've already done, and perform remediation using a playbook. Let's take a look at how this would work. Okay, so I've clicked on the Restore Playbook option, and if I click on the War Room tab, we can see a confirmation of the command issued from Palo Alto. Let's return to Cohesity and take a look at a recovery task. All right, so I can see recent recoveries in the Security Manager, including one that we triggered from earlier. And I can see a current status of the recovery, including whether it was successful. This completes the demonstration. We did a tour of the new Palo Alto Networks integration and reviewed the recovery process of recovering a VM using an automated playbook. Thanks for watching.